Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me doing my friend Yasmin's makeup. And this is my debut. <laughs> First time on the channel, guys. <laughs> Just a bit nervous, but it's not yeah. bad. It's a reality TV. I don't know what to say, girl. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you look? Basically, I've never seen my face look so good. Like, if you saw what I looked like at the beginning, which you probably will, and I also just want to say that I did have to wax my face <laughs> before I came. So I was going to put on my straight hair, she was like, oh, my apple is stinging. It was stinging, so I had to wax it a few times because I love the hair. <laughs> um, well, my hair. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't done mine for a while. Do you want to say something? Um, I would just really like to thank the fans. This is the US for you guys. If you're looking to go into makeup and you don't know how to like do it on clients, this is the video for you. This is the types of videos I used to watch, and yeah, I think it'll be really helpful for you. So if you want to see how I done Yaz's makeup, then just keep on watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So to start off, I'm going to be using my clean fingers to apply this Olay Hydration and Flawless Blur Moisturizer to Yasmin's skin. She has quite oily skin, so the blurring technology in this will help prevent the oils um, breaking through. And then I'm going to further prime her face with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. And this is just a really good primer. It has glycerin in it, so it will make all the products stick to her face better. And then I'm going to go in with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime the eyelids and this will just act as a base for the eyeshadows to stick to and for them to show more vibrantly. And you just want to apply that all the way up to the brow bone as well. And then you just want to set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder or any um, face powder that's the same, near the same shade as um, their skin tone. And then I'm going in with my Morphe 350 palette and this warm orange shade. Um, I'm playing with some new brushes as well in this video and I will try and link them down below for you. So I'm just putting that through the crease um, in the socket, focusing it all over in the socket. Just like circular motions back and forth. And then I kind of whisk my brush when there's less product on it, sort of up into the crease. And then I'm taking, this is a Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush and I'm taking a bit of a darker shade of orange and just concentrating that more in the crease and then again just fluffing it out on the edges. And then this is my Sigma E40 just to blend out the edges again just for a more seamless look. And then I'm going into my Morphe 35D palette and this is um, this purple shade which I'm going to be putting into the crease as well. So I want it to transition from the sort of dark green on the lid to the purple to the orange. And these colours all complement each other really well so that's why they blend really well together. So I'm doing the exact same as I did with the orange but just with purple. Just focusing it just in the crease. And because this is a dark shade, you don't want to take it up too high, so just focus it literally in the socket. And then I'm going in with my Sigma E40 just to further blend out that purple. There's no additional product here, so just keep blending. And then I am just keep going in with my purple just to get to the intensity that I want it. And then I'm going in with Max 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. This is the Prep and Prime one, and this is just to make my next eyeshadow for the lid like show up more vibrantly. And I'm also putting on um, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, which also helps with eyeshadows like this. When there's like a duochrome to them, it just brings it out so much more. And this is from Makeup Peak. This is their duochrome eyeshadow in Secret Garden. So it's kind of like a teal green and then it kind of reflects brown. And I'm just packing that on with a flat brush. This is just like a cheap one off eBay. And if you want to intensify the colour a bit more, just apply with your finger. 
and then just to blend those two colours together I'm just taking whatever's left of my brush from the purple and just blending in between those shades. Taking a bit more purple and just blending that out. And then I'm just taking some of the orange again with my Sigma E40 and just going right above that purple just so it transitions nicely up to the brow bone. And then I'm taking this lime shade from the Morphe, um, I can't remember what this palette is called, I'll list it down below. Um, it's new and it's beautiful. So I'm just putting that on the inner corner and then I'm just going to clean up her eyeshadow with a makeup wipe and this also helps the next step when I'm doing the eyeliner so I can see um, exactly where to put the eyeliner. So I'm just asking her to keep her eyes open and look straight forward and this will just help you to see what the eyeliner will look like when her eye is actually open because if you just um, initially just do the eyeliner while the client's eye is closed when they open it, it might not look right and it might not suit their actual eye. So it's always best just to kind of do the first um, flick sort of motion when the eye is open. And then I'm just taking some Kiko eyeliner here and just darkening up the liner. And then for brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And yeah, I'm just kind of tracing where natural brow shape is but I am going to make them a little bit thicker and Yasmin normally does hers a little bit thinner but I was just like hey you're gonna have big ass brows today so yeah and then I just like to clean it up with a little bit of um, concealer this is actually the MAC soft ochre paint pot and this just makes I think look a bit more clean and sharp if that's the look that you want to go for it's um, very Instagram brow-esque. And then I'm just highlighting Yasmin's brow bone with MAC Nylon. Um, this just adds a little something to the look, I find, and I like to do it with most people. And then I'm just blending that out again with my Sigma E40. Okay, so for the face, I'm using what I use on all my clients. It's the Celeb Mehron HD Foundation. Um, I seen this on Styled by Harush's makeup page because she used it on Kylie Jenner. So I really wanted to get it. So yeah, I bought a palette and I bought a couple of singles as well. And it seems to work for oily skin and dry skin. It's um, really full coverage. It's quite dewy, but um, I did apply powder anyways just to make sure it all stayed in place but this kind of looks like it's too light for Yasmin Bristol now as you see it does match your neck and that's what you want to do you want to match your clients neck not the actual face because some people might have pigmentation or you know discoloration or whatever and it just might be a bit more red or whatever color so yeah and then I'm just taking a darker shade of the Mayron makeup and contouring her face with it. This is the Real Technique Sculpting Brush. So just going all around the sort of perimeter of her forehead, um, down her cheekbones and then sort of on her jawline. And then here I'm just taking my foundation brush and just cleaning up um, the contour just because I went a little bit too low. And then to like highlight conceal, I'm using the Maybelline um, Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade Light. And I'm just putting that on all the highlighted places that I would usually do so. Um, under the eyes in a triangle, down the bridge of the nose, forehead and chin. And then just blending all, all that out with a damp beauty blender. I recommend using a beauty blender for underneath eyes just because if you go a bit crazy with the product, um, it will just pick up that excess product that you don't need on the face. And then going in with my... Holy Grail Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm using a big fluffy brush for this. This is from Zoeva. I believe this is the 101, I think. 
this is also great for contouring as well but yeah I'm just using this to set the face and then I'm just making sure I dab all the creases from underneath Yasmin's eyes asking her to look up and just setting that immediately so it doesn't crease and then I am using MAC Give Me Sun this is quite a warm bronzer but um, it suits Yasmin's skin tone really well so I'm just using this this is a new Morphe brush I got oh, I don't know what it's called but I'll leave it down below and just going over the places where I cream contour just to set it and make sure it stays in place and then I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan um, medium sculpting powder and this is the Zoeva um, face paint brush I think it's 109 or something like that I can't remember but I'll leave it below and I also like to use this to contour noses with so I just lightly take whatever is left on my brush from doing the cheeks and just slightly contour the nose and then just blending that out with um, the powder brush I used for underneath her eyes and then to highlight I did want to try this Kiko gold eyeshadow but it wasn't showing up as much as I wanted it to so I went over it anyways with um, Becca's champagne pop And this is like a peachy sort of highlight, so it suits basically every skin tone. It's a really nice highlighter. Um, it is only limited edition, but I know that Space NK are actually selling it now. Well, the last time I looked was like two days ago, so I hope they still have it. And then I'm using MAC um, Spring Sheen Blush. This has like a little bit of a sheen to it, a little bit of a glow. So I'm just putting that in between the contour and the highlight. And then I'm just using my Rimmel Scandalized Black Eyeliner in her waterline. I'm asking her to look up and then I just pull down on her eye a little bit. Don't be afraid to pull down or pull up on your client's eyes. We'll be fine, don't worry. And then I'm just smoking that out with the orange and the purple that I used in the crease. And then I'm just going in with my Morphe Powder Contour Kit Highlight Kit just to brighten up the end dry a little bit more. And then for mascara, you want to use a disposable mascara wand. Dip it into your mascara. Mine is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Put in that on the bottom lashes, asking my client to look up. And then to do the upper lashes, I am asking her to look down and I'm just pulling up her eyelid. So don't be afraid to pull your client's eye, it's fine. They'll be okay. And then just going in with lashes, I'm using Duo Lash Glue. You should really use um, latex free just in case anyone has allergies, but um, this one was fine for Yasmin. I normally use the Revlon um, Lash Adhesive because that's latex free, but I ran out. And I just let the um, glue dry a little bit so it's a little bit tacky because if you go straight in with the lashes when the glue is really wet, um, it'll be really hard for them to stick. So, yeah. And then I'm just lining her lips with Spice Lip Liner by MAC. And then this is MAC Tropic Tonic Matte Lipstick. I'm not sure if this is limited edition. It was in their matte collection in the summer. Um, and I got this in Mexico, so I'm not sure. But And then I'm just going over with... H&M's lipstick in, ooh, I can't remember, I'll leave it down below. But yeah, this is the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something on how to do makeup on clients. If you want to do this on your friends, go ahead. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> yeah, but basically you said you. me down. Oh, oh, sweaty pants now. Sweaty pants, sweaty pants. I'm, oh, I can't even speak. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, let's just like shake it off. Oh, no, oh, would you just like saying, yes, yeah, it's, you know, not of my best, but you know, I mean, it's worth it. The glass thing is really like that. It is, but it's okay. Oh, shit, it is. Oh, my God, it's <laughs> <laughs>
I'll get you some water. So everything Oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. Well, I remember watching like the first one though. You know the musical, no? Yeah, is it? Is that it? No, that's the end of the episode.